to Miss Kroll's art class. Boys and girls, today we are going to be talking about organic versus geometric shapes. Geometric shapes are those shapes on the left hand side like the squared off shapes like rectangle, triangle, octagon, diamond, oval, hexagon, square, and circle. And the organic shapes occur more in nature. They're like egg shapes or leaf shapes or wormy shapes. The ones on the right hand side are puddle. They have soft edges. Today's art lesson will be about using cut paper, glue, scissors, and shapes. Organic shapes and geometric shapes. Alright, hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be creating a piece of artwork through using cut paper another piece of paper that we're gluing our papers to. We're going to be trying a little Elmer's glue, which is liquid white glue, and glue stick. So it depends on what we're going to use in the classroom, but I'm going to show you both techniques on how to glue properly. All right, first step is finding your paper having a longer piece of paper to attach glued paper to. And we're going to be using a scissors. Be careful with the blades. Always cut away from yourself, not towards yourself. Keep the blades at a distance from you. And the thumb goes in the top and your fingers go in the longer slot. This is a glue stick. You can open it up and take a look at the glue is here. There's a dial at the bottom to get the glue up just a little bit so you can use it. You turn the dial a few times, one, two, and then you'll see the glue pop up to the top. Do not keep turning the dial over and over and over and making the glue come out. You'll break your glue stick and you won't have any glue. Okay, that's the glue stick. This is the Elmer's liquid glue. You have to twist the tippity top open and you'll see the orange tip. The hole will open up. Here, I'll close it again. Sometimes glue gets stuck on the top and you have to peel it off. See, there's dried up glue. I'm going to open it. I'm going to show you how to use both glues properly. One thing to know about gluing things together is you don't want to use too much glue. It ruins your paper. It becomes such a mess, becomes a pool. And when we're using liquid glue, we only use a few dots of the glue at a time. Otherwise, you really ruin your papers. All right. So we're going to create a piece of artwork like a Matisse, the famous artist. And first step is I'm just going to take some scraps. I have colored scraps here. I even have scraps of paper that have drawing on it, which are kind of nice. Once you cut it up, they just look so beautiful. We're going to be working with shapes, simple shapes, colors, and design. So first I'd like to lay out how I think I might want the back of my paper to look. Maybe a square here, a strange little rectangle here. Maybe this colored rectangle here. I'm just sort of laying out my design. I think I want some white paper here. I'm gonna cut it in half. I wanna break it up a little bit more. Here's another sheet. Maybe I'll have colors up here. Oh, I like how that looks. And I'm going to put my first layers on my paper. And I think I'm going to have the purple over here under this one. So now we have quite a few pieces of paper. Now remember, this piece of artwork is going to be primarily, that means most importantly, about shapes and colors. Not about a picture of something 
necessarily. It's just going to be about the beautiful shapes, interesting shapes, and interesting colors, and combining them together. So I've kind of laid out my design. I can move it around, like, oh, maybe I want white here or white here, but I'm kind of happy with how I have it set up. I like the black showing through, and I have six pieces of paper I need to glue down. First, I'm going to show you how to use the Elmer's glue, the Elmer's glue or the white glue safely. So now I've already opened it up, so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to flip this first piece of paper over and I'm just going to squeeze lightly and put a dot. Now that's not going to hold this whole square to my black paper, so I'm just going to put three dots on this side maybe three little dots on this side and three dots in the middle. Never squeeze all this glue and make a big pool or puddle. That is a big mess. It ruins your paper. It ruins your designs. It soaks through, looks terrible, and makes a huge mess. So I just put little dots. You have to learn how to control this bottle. And you flip it over Try not to get your fingers in it, and you press. There's my first rectangle. And I don't even want it straight. I want this one a little crooked. And you press. And that should hold pretty well. I'm going to do that again. This time I'm flipping the paper over, taking this little scrap off, and I'm going to use more Elmer's. I'm going to open it up, turn it over, and I'm never going to squeeze a puddle. Just going to push it. Oh, a dot. Oh, that dot's kind of big. Don't get too large with these dots, please, because they ruin paper, like I said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a larger piece of paper, so I can add some more dots. Because you really want it to hold on. Now, I didn't squeeze so hard that it pulled out. I'm going to set it down. Now I'm going to flip this over carefully, flipping, and I'm going to set it down. And like I said, I like it a little bit off center, and I'm going to press. Because it's liquid, it's going to take a while to really hold on, but it'll work really well. Oh, if it squirts through the sides, you can get a little tissue and wipe up. Uh-oh, see, I don't like it showing. I might have had too much glue on there. That's okay. It's not so much that it ruins the paper. Let's try this one. Flip it over. I'm going to put smaller dots of glue now. One, two, three. Do you notice I'm not putting the glue dots so close to the edge? If I go too close to the edge, it seems to squirt out the side, and I don't want that. Okay, I have nine spots of glue, and I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to set it down and press. Pretty nice. This one is the one that I had too much glue on. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to flip this out, and I'm going to add my dots of glue, and not too big. One. Little dots are perfect. One, two, three. And do you notice I haven't put them too close together? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo, that's a lot of dots. It's not a puddle, it's not a pool, it's not flowing everywhere, it's not too close to the edge. And I'm going to pick it up, carefully flip it over. And here we go. And I want it to be a little bit off kilter. I don't want it straight. I like the way that some of this black line, this black shape is thick and thin and thick and thin. And oh, they're starting to really stick pretty nicely together. Okay, I'm going to take this purple one, flip it over, and I'm going to put dots of glue. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can see I wanted all the corners to hold, I want the middle to hold, and then those little edges. And then I'm going to flip it. It's not a puddle, it's not a pool. And press, oops, it slid. All right, and I think this one's gonna kinda go over those two together. All right, so I'm gonna flip it backwards Take this person's tag off. And it's so nice to use these scraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's not a pool, it's not a mess, it's not too close to the edges. And I'm going to lift it up. It won't drip if I flip it quickly. And I'm flipping it over. And I'm pressing on the paper. Oh, I love how, uh oh. See, it went right through. Having a tissue near is a good idea. Maybe I'll go and get a tissue. And if I shake it, everything's stuck on here. I'm going to let it dry for a moment. And then I'm going to add more designs on top of these designs. Next time, I'm going to show you how to use the glue stick. All right, boys and girls, I have my tissue. Now I'm going to be using my glue stick. I'm going to set this Elmer's glue to the side. I'm going to close it, turn it to the right. The white part pops up, then it won't dry out. Now, boys and girls, I am just going to cut some shapes out to layer on top of these other shapes. These are pretty much squared off shapes. They're called geometric. I'm going to put some organic shapes on this paper. And this time I'm going to use the glue stick. So I'm going to open up the glue stick, make sure it's not dialed up too high so it breaks. And I'm just going to use these scraps to put more designs on top of top of the rectangles. So I also have some scraps that have, were colored on and not used, kind of like those. Now, the nice thing about organic natural shapes is you can just sort of cut paper and come up with an interesting shape. Like right now I'm just going to cut a circular shape, maybe with some bubbles on it, bumps. Doesn't have to look like anything in particular. Oh, I like that. That kind of even looks like a flower. I could put it here. I could lay it right on this green square up here. And here, I kind of liked it on this white rectangle. So I'm going to move this little other piece of scrap. I'm going to flip it over. I'm just going to put the glue on the back, pressing sort of stuck here. I'm going to lift it, make sure I have enough glue, but not too much. Looks pretty good. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to set it on this white rectangle. Ooh. That's just a beautiful, strange little shape. So boys and girls, use your scraps to build on top of the work you've already done and layer some organic shapes over your geometric ones. Remember, it's about how it looks and how it feels. It's not necessarily a picture of something very specific. Enjoy yourselves.